quite sure what it is. Okay, if you're just coming in, you will need weights for today's workout. My name is Kara. If you've never connected with me before, I live in North Carolina and I run this page and, and an at-home membership community and business and ministry called Wellness Witness and the at-home tribe. This is my husband, Marcus. Anything you want to say or no? I'm excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I threw him in today. This is his first time ever leading with me. Marcus is also a Revelation Wellness instructor. So this is his debut right. class. We're in the same shirt. We're twins. <laughs> That's right. Her idea. Yeah, uh-huh. We dressed alike just for you. So. <laughs> um, so I'm throwing him in today. Nothing like going live on a page that thousands and thousands can watch. So it's good. Our plan today is to try to train your body to stir up some joy, to increase your hope, and um, just to get you moving. It is a challenging workout, but you're going to see us modify as needed. From start to finish, it's less than 22 minutes. So we'll warm up, we'll do less than 22 minutes together, and then I want to cool you down. If you can stay till the end, stay till the end, because the workout's actually the warm up. The real work happens at the very end. So we are so glad you're here. I was telling Marcus last night, I'm like, we're going to show up exactly as we are because I want you to have the freedom and permission to do the same. So although I can't see you, I want you to be fully yourself and we're going to try to be fully ourselves today while we move and just have a good time. There's no wrong way here. And the point isn't actually about doing the workout perfectly. It's moving your body. It's training your hope. It's allowing the Lord to give you more of what you need today. And a lot of us are in need of a lot right now. <laughs> so we're going to show up and give away what we have because that's who we are. So um, we're just going to start warming up. So Marcus will kind of move there. I'm going to cue and tell you a little bit about what's coming. So just like we've been doing, y'all can jog in place right here. You can do some slow squats. That's perfect. However you want to just kind of get, get your body moving today. I slept today till like, what time did I go? 730? Yeah. 730. So, you know, we're just getting going this morning and um, you might feel stiff or tired or any of those things, so just do what you can. We're just beginning to move, nice and gentle. Good job, I'm gonna check on everything, make sure it's going as it should. Y'all keep warming up. Hey, hey, our lighting is, uh oh, did that cut y'all off? You're still there, okay. The lighting's dark, but I'm not touching anything out in case I mess it up. So y'all keep warming up, move with Marcus. While we move today, we're gonna talk to you from Romans 8. I know you know some of these verses well, but we're just going to teach you what we can from it. So uh, Romans 8, 28 says, We know for those who love God, all things, all meaning all, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. It's for our good and his glory, even when things don't seem good, right? So we'll talk you through that today. We're going to give you a workout with a bunch of different, not a bunch, with five different sets that we're going to go through. The first will be strength, then we're going to switch to a cardio Tabata. Then we'll do strength with upper body then we'll do lower body and we got another cardio and you'll be done 22 minutes and we'll be done with this thing so if you don't have weights get something to add resistance whatever you can see around you um grab a dog grab a kid grab some water bottles some canned goods whatever you got and we're just going to move today how about another 30 seconds or so here and then we're going to get started what am i forgetting now i told him uh, i think you got it you would be quiet for saying no. something no, I love it when you talk. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I'll know that I've heard that a whole, whole lot of many times here. So y'all just keep moving however you need to this morning. Getting started, hardest part. Hardest part. So some of you I know are watching this from your couch this morning, drinking your coffee. That's okay. We're glad you're here, but I want you to try it later, okay? So come back and catch the replay. We're going to encourage you to modify today however you need to. So push till you need to rest. Rest till you're ready to start back and you modify at any point. All right, how are you feeling? Good enough? I think I'm good. All right. Ready. Try and get our stuff here. We're going without a mic this morning. So we'll see how that goes. All right, Marcus, we're ready for you. You ready? All right, for our first set of exercises, there are going to be combination moves. So the first is going to be a deadlift and a row. So we're going to be in this position, bending at the hips, coming up. Oh, no. And there then dropping down. There you go. Right. Yeah. Down, up, down, up. Am I doing that right? I like it. I like the way you're doing that. Yeah, move however you want to. It looks good. All right. It's you not what we start. talked about. Okay, we ready? We'll roll here, we'll row. We'll stand and squeeze. Yeah. All right. You got it. Right. That's how I was doing. Yeah, All right. Do it. Yeah. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. 
And then we're gonna be dropping into a reverse lunge press. I'll show you that. One. Go. All right, we're in Ready that deadlift. Right. So push the hips back, leave back flat. See, I can't even not help but talk. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. You're cute here. You're ready for that. No. For we're good. Should feel a good stretch in the hamstrings. Keep your back nice and flat. And good extension. Now, Carrot tells me that when we go to the top, we want to make sure that we squeeze those glutes. <laughs> Guys, don't talk that way. Yeah, guys, we don't really talk about squeezing the glutes that much. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, we just say get it done. <laughs> We're trying to get through it. We're coming up on a rest in 10, y'all. 10 seconds. Look. Pretty good form there, Osborne. Thank you. Yours is way down like that. Right. Amazing. Three, two, right. one. We got a rest. Okay. Next exercise is going to be a reverse lunge and a press. Her weight's going to come up top. We're going to drop back into a lunge. And press up, but don't hit your ceiling fan. We're all standing. <laughs> Let's start it in three. In two. One. Here we go. Drop back. Press up. Switch legs. Here's a mod if you need it. One weight right here. That's too much. Take out the lunge. You just press. As you're dropping back, make sure that you keep that front knee behind the front toe. And when weights go overhead, what should we do with our core or our glutes? You got anything there for us? Yeah, you know, it seems like I remember that anytime you're lifted overhead, you want to tighten your core up. Yep. And I'll be my control. ladies. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your glutes. Just what you were thinking. Ten right? seconds, that's right. Woo! We're working. I'm sweating. Is that me I smell right now or you? It's coming from somewhere. Three, two, one. Rest. Know where oh, we're going. Which up? Which up? So we're going to be doing this a second time. So for this round, we're going to stay on one side. We're over the left shoulder, dropping down into a squat on the right knee, Three, and then back up. Two, one. You'll get Again. it. And up. Core is tight. So just like Kara said before, with our hands going up, arms going up, we're going to keep our core tight. Whenever we're doing a rotational move, it's even more important because we want to protect the back. These are super awkward. Am I doing it right? Yeah. Did, Under control? Like this. Is that right? One, man. Yeah. Oh. Keep that core tight. My lab ladies know that I never do these in class ever. 15 seconds. Woo. I love this one. You love a witch up. Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be doing it the other way. Oh, good. The next round. Three. All right. All right. First. Rest. Back to our. Deadlift in our row. You're halfway in this set, y'all. Good job. You're, halfway. You're doing great. You got I can't five, see you, but four, I feel you. Three, two. All right. Rest. Deadlift. There you go. Deadlift. When we stand, Rest. we squeeze. Good job. Keep that back flat. As you get tired, you're going to want to round that back. Don't round the back. Protect it. And you can go as slow on these as you need to. So your pace here, we want you to think about quality over how many you can rep out. That's exactly right. Keeping your elbows tucked in tight. If you get tired, those are going to want to wing out. Ten seconds. Protect the back. My back is feeling it. You got five. <sighs> you got three, two, one. Whoa, you, you quit early. Yeah, you saw that. <laughs> All right, next we got our reverse lunges. <laughs> Remember, you gotta rest, rest. Rest is not quitting. Be ready for the next step. Here we go. One, begin. Good work. Not racing you, but I did get more reps just now. Did you? And you did. So not what, that it's about the reps. It's not, it's about the quality. That's what you just said. Yep. <sighs> I feel really good about my. Core being tight. Okay. I'm gonna slow it down. Yeah. Come on. Good work. So it's possible that right now people are walking through things that don't feel very good. Would you say that's probably true? I think it's definitely true today. Yeah, so how are we gonna frame it? You got 10 seconds. We're gonna keep doing what's right, making the right choice. Here at four, three. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Doing a great job. All right, wood chop. All right, Kara's favorite. <laughs> Do an opposite shoulder this time over right shoulder. 
We're going down to left knee. We keep doing what's right. We can't control our circumstances. Again, only how we can respond to them. Four times. Nope, maybe for you. <laughs> I don't even remember. That's the right shoulder. I know you said that, but I don't know which way I went last time. See, this is what happens to me every time. I can't tell. I think I already went that way. We're so professional here. Man. But our shirts match. You won't find that stuff on any kind of professionally produced option right now. Keeping it real here in the Osborne household. That's right. Keep your weight back. Finish strong. 12 seconds. I don't want to go to a cardio I think, to be honest. Oh, six, three, two, rest. All right, you got 30 seconds here. I'm taking you to a cardio Tabata. Your first move, option one, fast squats. Option two, squat jump. If that's too easy, tuck jump, knee slap. We'll show it to you. Maybe not that one, we'll see. She just threw the tuck jump in. We didn't talk about that. <laughs> We're going to start it in 10 seconds. The point of this is for heart rate to be up. Mine's up. So if you need to rest, you rest. We're going in three, in two, one. Here we go. Sit back, up and down. So we're doing 20 seconds of work here. Then you get to rest. And I always tell myself, you can do anything for 20 seconds. If that jumps too much, you're right here. If you can't squat, how about some fast punches? You're not disqualified from moving just because you're moving different. Three, two, one. Stop and rest. Next move is, what is it? Quick feet. So you're gonna be here. Option every five seconds, slap the ground. Ready, go. So you can stay here. Us ladies call this the jiggle and shake. He's bringing his feet up a little higher. So that's an option for you. Every five seconds, throw in a ground slap if you want to. That's a good time, right? Yeah. You probably don't do that at every day. Actually, we do. All right. They're called go. Bobby Hurley's. <laughs> three, two, one, rest. Okay. We got three more rounds just like that. Woo! If you need more rest, you take it, because I will, just like you will. Three, two, squat jumps. Here we go. We know like that. that for those who love God, all things work together for good. It doesn't mean they feel good, but he's going to use them for good. So right now, what's the thing that you've been refusing to believe he's going to use for good? Three, two, one. The thing that you keep thinking, not this. There's no good in this. There's no possible way he could bring good from it. He's going to. Ready? Go. We're told again and again in scripture, it's for our good and his glory. If this brings you to know him more, could it be possible that one day you can look back and say, this is for my good. This is for my good. Three, two, one. Does that feel ridiculous, that ground slap? No. All right. That's what makes it fun. The rest is work. Two rounds down. It feels like work to me. What about y'all? Oh, here we go. Come on, last round. Squat jumps. No, it's not. Last round of this. This is round three. Three. We got four. Oh. <laughs> that was such false hope. <laughs> that was such false hope. I love that you thought that, though. That's happy. Good job. Six, five, four, my legs. Three, two. Here's the good news. We still got a leg set coming, so there's that. Woo. Oh. Rest. Quick feet coming right, up. Here we go. Three, in two, one. You can be here if you need to be, okay? But go. You can stay quick feet. You don't have to add that hop. If you need more, tuck jump with any stop. I'm gonna keep it right here. Oh, wow. It's nice and warm in North Carolina today. Yeah, it is. What's it supposed to get up to? 88. Rest, rest. 88. That's right. In March, that's crazy. Bring oh. on that, UV. We got one more round. Now it's our last one. Ready? Now we're excited. Set. Go. Last round. Now we do have legs in a little bit, so if you need to modify, stay low, tap wherever you need to be, you're good. 10 seconds, I like that form. Can you tell I'm avoiding doing it myself? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Five, yeah, coach. four, three, two, one, rest. Quick Woo. feet, then you get a big rest. Big rest, quick feet. You ready? Yeah. Me too. That's so much. Here we go. Ready? Go. I'm racing you. It's not a race. Come on. I'm racing I'm, with I'm, myself. <laughs> I'm racing with myself. 
held the shirt up. It's because he knew I was winning. Go! Ten seconds. Last time with this move today. Come on. Hold it hard. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. You got 40 seconds here to recover. Tell us what's coming. Oh gosh, we got upper. Upper body? So grab your weights. Not yet. Let them rest. They got 30 seconds. Oh, we got to change You show them. You show them. Lateral raise. So this is what it Good. Stance. Out to the side. Arms are big. Making sure that my elbows don't go higher than my shoulders. Got to bend in those elbows. I don't want to swing. If you feel like you have to swing, the weights are too heavy. Then we're going to go into curls. And then we've got kickbacks. tricep kickbacks. All right. We're starting at six, y'all. So arms are bent a little bit is what you told me. Correct, yeah. And not real far back. I should be able to see him. Right. Here we go. Woo. Sorry. Did that hurt you? Not at all. It's like iron hitting now, iron. If that's too much on your on your shoulders, modification. That's Single a good, arm, upright rep. That's a good mod. So it's a little bit different, but sort of the same muscles. Sort of. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. You got 10 seconds here. You're going straight to curls from there. So this is a 30, 30, 30. I think I picked too heavy of a weight. It's important to pick the right weights. I was going to say, I'll take them and use them, but I'm just kidding. That wouldn't be kind. I should have picked the 50s. <laughs> I offered him my pink 20s. He didn't want the pink ones. No, nope. so the curls. Keep your shoulders back. Same thing. We don't want to swing. You're in good control. Practice keeping that core tight. Even with the curl, bicep curl. So are my elbows stationary? Do I anchor them here? Yeah, you want to anchor them by your side. Prevent that swing. <laughs> Muscle, not momentum. Quality. Three. Over repetition. Two. Are right, you showing sure kickback? All right. I like to do my kickbacks here. Squeeze. So elbows stay by the body. I got a little rotation at the end. Squeeze in that tricep. And I'm just showing you an overhead tricep extension. It's a modification with one weight. So this is half the amount of weight he's using because he's got a weight in each hand. Core is still tight. That's right. Back is flat. Five seconds. Whoo! Three, two, one. All right, we're back to the top. Go. Lateral raises. Out to the side. No swing. We're only doing these twice today, y'all. So good. Good control. This is it. Now, when I'm watching my reflection here in the phone, it looks like my elbows are coming too high. So I'm gonna pay attention to that. How's that look? That's good. How's it feel on your shoulders? Hard. <laughs> yeah? How's it feel on your elbows? Fine. Good. You got six seconds. Come on. Did you so see I dropped me? those weights. That's right. I'm still working. Three, it's still burning. Two. Curls. 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 You, if that's too much, one. One. If you got nothing, when you curl, what do you do with those muscles? Squeeze. We squeeze. We engage. Right here. We did a video one time years ago. They didn't hold weights the whole time. All they did was engage the muscles. Up and down. And it works. It works. So squeeze. Sorry, I'm talking too much. That's right. Good reps. No, you're good. Good reps here. Make them count. We got 10 seconds. Less than 10 seconds. I'm going to train work. you down while I'm working. Extra credit over here. Three, two, triceps. You pick your option. I like the way those palms are rotating out. It gives just a little bit more extension through those triceps. Triceps are really small muscle group. Yeah, but there's three of them. Tell us more. So we want to have that rotation so that we can activate as much of the muscle as we can. It's also more functional. 10 seconds here. We don't work in straight lines, typically. We're gonna Six, do things with some rotation. Four, oh. three, two. All right, you're gonna go with me straight to lower body. One weight, I'm gonna lower for three. Three, two, one, stand squeeze. So these are plies, toes are out. Now, Marcus tells me guys don't like to do this a whole lot. So he's turned his toes straight ahead. We're just doing a slow decline. What do you call these now, three? Call them comprehensive squats, but it's a piston squat. There you go. So you got 10 more seconds here, and then I'm going to take you straight to a sad lunge, which I don't love, but we're going to do it anyway. Three, two, one. I'm going to set my weights down, but you can keep them. So I'm going to sad lunge, squeeze, center squat, other direction. Sad lunge, I squeeze that inner thigh, squat, sad lunge, squeeze that up, narrow squat. Side lunge, squeeze it, narrow squat. You want to take your weights with you, grab them and take them. It's good. Narrow squat. How you doing back there? Doing good. This is working. Another plane of movement. That's right. Three. Now straight on. We're going sideways. Two, one. Easy move. Pick up your weights. This is easy. It's going to let you recover. Calf raises. 
We changed this right before we started. Today. We sure did. If you want more, take your weights overhead. Yep. How's that feel? It's great. Now, what do you need to engage? Because weights are overhead. It's overhead. Core. And Always think. ladies. Glutes. Yep. Squeeze in those glutes. 12 seconds. <laughs> You're doing such a good job. Keep going. Keep going. Five, four, three, two. All right, we're back to that plie. I'm going to take both weights this time. You can oh. take one or none. So I lower for three. I stand and squeeze. One. Lower for three. Stand and squeeze for one. So we're just doing a little bit of tempo training. Lower for three. If you want more, you could pulse for two. Stand for one. Lower for three. Pulse for two. Stand and squeeze for one. So strong. Yeah. I love this one. I hope you can hear it. Pulse. But I hope you can't hear it loud enough that Facebook mutes. So That's right. three, two, one. Take your weights with you if you want to or not. Side lunge. Narrow squat. Side lunge. When I stand, I squeeze through that inner thigh of the leg that's pulling me back up. I want to engage as much as I can to get more done in less time. So we combine muscle groups in our movements to try to make it effective for the amount of time that we're investing. You've only got seven seconds here. Come on, Come on. work. Oh, you're at three. You're at two. All right, a little break. Calf raises. I like these. Me too. I tried to talk you out of them. Uh, <laughs> You could go to a ledge if you wanted and use that to get a bigger range of motion. If you've got a step, you core, can even turn toes out. Core tight. You can turn toes in, work different parts of that muscle. Come on, 10 seconds. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Finish strong. You're at five, but we're not done. You're at four, you're at three, two. Set it down. Transition, I hate to tell you this, Good news is we're almost done. That's right, last set. Bad news is the cardio Tabata stands between you and the finish. And we got two moves. We were made for hard things. First is burpees. He'll show you all the way down. I'll show you a mod. Second move, our skaters. We're gonna pause for just a second. So if you can't get down to the ground for a burpee, here's your mod. Reach, step, step, reach. You can also work a jumping jack. Help your heart rate up. So we'll push for 20. Or recover for 10. Show us a skater, Marcus. So a skater. We're stepping so this inside. is our second move. You can go down to the ground and touch, or you can stay high. I want you to take up some space if you've got it. All right, burpees, ready? Three, two, one. Here's your mod. You follow Marcus for all out. Good job. Uh, I wrote down 826, and it says, the spirit helps us in our weakness, for even when we don't know what to pray, the spirit himself intercedes with us with groanings too deep for words. You're at three, you're at two, one. Rest, skaters. Now, how many of you have had prayers that sounded like groanings in recent moments? And I love three, two, one. In the middle of that, in the middle of your groanings, God is literally at work. He's putting the pieces in place. God did not cause this, but he has allowed it. And it's gonna be something he can use for our good and his glory. He's gonna use it if we will allow him to transform us. Three, two, rest. To transform us more into the likeness of his son. And that matters. And it's good. And it's painful. Ready? Here we go, Burpee. Set, go. Come on. I want you to just try. So if you're doing jumping jacks, it's good. If you're marching in place right here, it's good. But I need you to be all there. So wherever you're at today, push, five, four, three, two, holy moly, rest. You're doing good work, you're doing good work. You're doing great work, you're hey, talking too. At home, good work, good work. All right, skaters ready, set, go. This is what, round two? Yes. I'm sorry I'm blocking you. You can go to the ground, you want more. What if you took up some space here? Leap, leap, take up some space. No shrinking back. Take up some space. Bigger. What if you went faster? Come on. Three, two, one. Stop and rest. Here's the good news. Two minutes stands between you and the end of this thing. Two minutes. We can do anything for two minutes, right? Ready? Burpees. I kind of like the chest to the ground. Yeah. I don't usually do those. Mine don't look like yours, but I'm going to do what I can. You can also walk it, friends. So you can be here, plant your hands, walk, 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 walk. 
You've got three. You've got two. Rest. All right, skaters. Are you dying? Yeah. It's like you're going to puke? Almost. Sometimes. Sometimes. But we're sitting over carpet. Oh, ready? Go. What about carpet? I don't want to puke on the carpet. Oh, the dogs have done it before. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Training today. You love coaching me on this. I know. Let's I always go. tell him to hurry up. I'm like, let's go, Osborne. Come on. Quicker. Four, three, two, rest. Sorry. We got one more. This is hard. We got one more. Then you're done. Give me what you got. No holding back. He's working all things together for good. Even this. This is why we train. When it gets hard and others turn back, not you, not this time. You press in. You show up. You go another round. You speak life. You speak help. Others shrink back. You show up. You're a three. You're a two. One. Holy moly. Hey, for my launch leaders on the call, press in. Rise up. Do the work. Ready? Last thing. 20 seconds. Skaters. 20 seconds. Come on. That's it. What if you went a little faster? What if you went a little faster? This is it. The finish line in sight. 10 seconds. So you can sprint. I'm scared to go hit you. Nah. We're at five, four, three, two. Oh. Good work. Oh. Let your hurry come down. Give us a second here to. Man, I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Hey, Lauren. Ah, uh, yeah, Kenneth, we're with you. Glenn Diggins, hey man, how are things over there? Oh, in good old England town. That accent was terrible. That was good. That was terrible. All right, you're gonna let your heart rate come down. Once you feel like you're not about to be sick, you're invited into a place of stretching. Now, Marcus is gonna lead you in some stretches, but you can do something totally different, okay? Now I told you at the beginning, the workout was good, but it's actually just the warm up for the real work that happens now. So if you will stick with us, this is the rep training that really counts. This is the burnout I need you to be a part of. So if you gotta go, go, but promise me you'll come back. The Lord has something to say to us. And when we're willing to move and listen to truth, our hearts are more softened to receive it. It's the way I was created. I feel like it's the way he created all of us. When we move our feet, we listen to truth. We push into hard places where there's less of us. We have room for more of him. So you're following with Marcus or you're doing something totally different. It's good. We want to stretch you. And then I want to teach you. Ah, your heart beating really fast right now. It's purpose. It's purpose. It was on purpose. You are here for a purpose. It's with great intention. Every breath given to you that you can make much of him with. And in this season, that's going to look different than it's looked before. And it's still important work. I'm going to start again at Romans 8, 26. And then go to 28. Romans 8, 26 says, Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know what to pray as we all, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. And I have not been sleeping well for about 10 days in a row. I have not been, last night was great, but the 10 days before that, I'm not sleeping. And so I'm lying in the bed and I'm like, okay, Lord, it's me and you. And I don't know what all you want me to pray for, but I'm just gonna pray for everything I can think of. And sometimes it sounds like groanings because we're fearful or we're sad, or we're discouraged, or we're lonely, or we're anxious. So we're groaning, the Spirit Himself working on our behalf. Verse 28 says, and we know, and we know, that means to know it's certainty, to know it in our beings. And we know that for those who love God, all things, everything, all things work together for good for those who are called according to His purpose. He works all things together for our good and his glory. It may not feel good right now, but he is using it for good, for our good, for the good of the kingdom, and for the glory that he will receive. In the middle of this, in the middle of our very groanings, God is at work. 
we yet cannot see him, but if we trust him, we can trace his hand. When we don't know what he's doing, we go back to the character of who he is. Some of us are asking, why would he allow suffering like this? And there was a quote by Joni Erickson Tata, if you're familiar with her story. And she said, God allows what he hates to accomplish what he loves. This has been filtered through his hands. It's not a surprise to him. And he's here with us in the middle of it. We're not walking through it as children who have been dropped in and abandoned. We're walking holding on to the hand of our father. He's gone before us. He is able to use all things, even this very thing. He can redeem and he can restore all things and anything for our good and his glory. And although all things may not be good right now, he will use them for good. No suffering is wasted, and he is at work. No suffering is wasted, and he is at work. Even when we can't understand or comprehend how good can come, we can rest in his sovereignty and knowing that he is in control. So once you're done stretching, I just want you to take a posture of rest, whatever that looks like for you today. If you can give me five minutes from here, I think it's good just to train your heart in some stillness. If you don't have five minutes, come back later. But you find your posture of rest, whatever it looks like. I don't care if there's kids running circles around you making messes. I don't care if your dog's barking or making accidents or whatever. I need you to find some place to be still, even if circumstances around you aren't still. So you're lying or you're seated, your child's pose, and you're just going to breathe. As your heart rate slows a little bit, your breathing slows, I want you to call to mind and then pour out and lay at his feet all these things you've been trying to carry. The things you've been trying to keep going, the balls you've been juggling, the tasks you've been holding, the worry that's weighing on your shoulders. Maybe it's finances, maybe it's job, maybe it's health, maybe it's family, maybe it's marriage. Whatever the thing is you've been carrying, could you lay it at his feet? Could you lay it at his feet? Years ago, I had this dream. And I don't often have dreams that I remember, but I remember this one vividly. And it was a dream where I was being told, literally by my dad, my earthly father, that I was getting ready to walk through something really hard and scary. He told me it was coming. He said, you're going to have this hard thing that's coming. And he said, you got two choices, Kara. I'll go with you or you can face it on your own. I'll go with you or you can face it on your own. And it was immediate for me. I knew I wanted my dad to go with me. I don't want to face scary things on my own. And the Lord has brought that dream to mind again this week that he is saying there will be hard things you walk through. We're in this broken world where stuff doesn't make sense. But I'm not putting you in it on your own. I will go with you. And not only that, we're going to get to the very end of this thing and we're going to look back and we're going to see how it was used for good. So in the middle of it, in the meantime, we trust the wisdom of our Father. And we say, you're sovereign and you're in control, God. You hold all things in your hands. That includes me. And that includes all these things that I just laid at your feet. You're in control of all of those too. You haven't left us here in the middle of it on our own. So we surrender and we trust. And surrender looks like letting go of control. Psalm 46.10, we talk about a lot. Be still and know that I am God. One of the translations of be still is Rafa. That means let go. As of the hands, let go. That's the literal translation. Let go. Know that I am God. So right now, could you do that? Could you let go? Could you take your hands off of whatever is to come and say, moment by moment, I'm just going to surrender and trust. You are using all things, including this thing for my good. And the ultimate good is us looking more like his son. And that's not comfortable and it doesn't feel nice. And for some of us, it's such a kindness that he's willing to do that. I've been studying in Nehemiah about intermarriage and the things that we tie our affections to. The things that we turn to other than the Lord. And this season is showing me what I have tied my hope to other than him. 
And my hope has been grounded in other people. My hope has been grounded in income. My hope has been grounded in position and possessions and influence. And he's removing all those things so that my hope has to turn to him. It's his kindness that is doing that. This is a reset. I'm praying that, the God, that God would use it for a revival to sweep our world. He is kind in showing us where we have strength. Could you turn back? Could you surrender? So with about 60 seconds right here, I just want you to breathe and I want you to ask him, what do you need me to hear from you today, Father? What do you need me to hear from you today? What are you saying to me today, God? And then I want you to find right now in your mind something that you can praise him for. Regardless of your current circumstances, I want you to think of something you are willing to praise him for right now. And you go ahead and do that. And if you're not sure, you return to his very nature. God, you're good. God, you're kind. God, you're holy. God, you're righteous. God, you're beginning and end. You are sustainer. You are creator. You are perfecter. You are my strong tower. You praise him for who he is. So we've asked him for what we need to hear. We've praised him for who he is. And then we're going to end just in surrender. So if you're willing, you turn your palms up. And you say, God, I don't know what is to come, but I'm going to trust you with it. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. <laughs> whatever it looks like, whatever it feels like, whatever it is, I trust that you are better. I surrender. So with all that we have today, with all that we are we lay it at your feet and we say, have it your way today, God. We love you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So good. Hey, how you doing, my dear? Great. How are y'all doing? That was so fun.